And when you practice your thirds, there's sort of another trick that you can do to maximize the number of fingers that are in tune simultaneously. I first do this. So you see how I'm, rather than playing a third followed by another third, I'm playing a third and then I put down only the upper finger, creating a fourth. A fourth is very easy to tell whether it's in tune or out of tune because it's a perfect interval. And then once that's in tune, I put down the new finger on the bottom. So by doing that, I'm actually making sure that at one point, three notes are in tune simultaneously because I've created this and then I've checked a third finger. 